Hey, welcome back to Studio Tamara, the Mystical Painters. Today, I wanted a little bit of color and fun, um, so I dress a little crazy sometimes. But, welcome spring. Saw my first robin here in Michigan last week, and uh, spring is here. Let's do some fun art. Let's do some painting. Let's create something. All right, let's go. First thing we're gonna need is a canvas. So you have to decide what size you wanna do your painting on. I did this little Harvest Girl just for fun. Huh. That's not what we're gonna do today though. Did you ever just go in the studio and like not even know what you're gonna do, but you're inspired? That's where we're at today. I'm gonna call today Recycle Day, and I'm gonna recycle this old canvas I started a long time ago with a crow and a dove. And I'm gonna change it, and I think I'm gonna do like I did here. I got my sketchbook out, and I was just doodling stuff. Um, not even my sketchbook, my journal. But um, I got some ideas of some things I want to try. It's fun. Let's do it. Here we go. Get your cam. Here we go. Okay, so step one, I'm just going to draw this out. And I'm going to kind of follow my little sketchbook um, journal here. And first thing is I want to put a little bunny. Um... So I'm just gonna go off of a little gesture drawing I did here of a little bunny. don't want this to be photographic like at all so I'm just going to like here's the elbow right here's your wrist wrist comes up finger next finger kind of buried in the fur bottom finger dark here wrist up to a shoulder, which we're going to guess is here, and this is all just fun, free painting. This is not, I'm just doing this for fun. Okay, so we're going to say her nose is here. I'm gonna make her an old healer, an old medicinal kind of healer. It's out in the forest and comes across this cute little baby bunny. And I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Thank you. 
You can't really screw up at this point because we're just playing. I'm just, I'm not using any reference really other than some sketches I made in my little journal this morning, but aside from that, I don't really have anything. I'm just, I'm just having fun. like it loose and free. I'm much more into the loose and free look than the um, photographic look anymore. At least I'm in that phase right now. Uh, not, not quite what I would say abstract either, but just not in the Make it all look perfect and kind of over all that. So, I kind of like this. You know, I feel like healers across history, the medicine women and the wise women and the healers, um, got a bad rap. They were the modern early day nurses and doctors and Nowadays, all they say is, oh, they were witches, they were evil, they were, you know, they worshipped Satan. <laughs> no, they didn't. I'm talking about the people that lived on the outskirts of towns and grew herbs to heal people. Not all this city, silly Hollywood movie bullshit that you hear about. Yeah, I'm gonna do a nice soft little little girl that's here. And she's looking down at her little bunny here. I might even bring that in, so that might be too much. Uh, Isn't it fun when you start to play with paint and shapes and... Ah, I don't want a stereotypical witch. I want a pretty little witch. Kiss her bunny. So let's put some lips, come up, put a nose here like she's looking at him. There we go. We're just having fun. We're gonna leave the witch alone a little bit and just kind of soften this rabbit area. Soften it a little. I think I'm gonna erase this. The beautiful thing about oil, you can erase things. So you're getting to see the steps that my that my mind is going through here with this, which is a little unique because usually I have either a scene in front of me I'm copying or I have a reference photo I'm copying, just like many other artists. Very few artists actually just get an idea and say, hey, I'm going to try this and I'm going to film myself doing it because it's, uh, it's not always successful, right? You just got to be brave. Now, where the fingers get lost in the fur, it's kind of like this. And then, you know what, actually, there might be, you might be able to see a little more finger than what I'm showing here. I really wanted to do this springtime 
painting of a bunny and have like a old world healer type lady. I don't like to use the word witch because everybody thinks Halloween and evil and Satan and <laughs> um, not, not into that. That's not what I'm trying to paint here. So yeah. So this little healer girl and her bunny that she found in the woods. That's the story I'm trying to tell. And I may leave it very loose and abstract. I may paint it very tight and photographic. Probably not. I'm just saying I may. I really, at this point, don't even, I don't even know. I'm just gonna let this painting evolve as I paint it. So, um, at this point, you almost have to watch this video to see how this is gonna turn out or the processes I'm gonna use because like I said, I don't even know. Um, and I like, when I look at art, I like to see not only steps, but I like to see the artist's mind. Like, what did they, uh, what were they going through? So, you're going on a journey with me right now, that's for sure. Because I don't even know what I'm doing. I, I don't even know if I'm going to show this video. I don't even know if I'll share it. Because it's pretty crazy. All right, so back here, I wanted to have some little whimsical lollipop looking kind of flowers. You know, the kind of flowers you see in the spring, early spring, you're like, oh, is that a hyacinth? Is that a cold's foot? Is that a, I don't know what that is, but it sure is nice to see flowers again. It's nice to see any plant if you live in a cold place, like Michigan, where I live, where We just had a long winter with a lot of snow and a lot of cold. And I'm just going to suggest some flowers. I don't even know what kind of flowers these are. They're just fun wild flowers, happy flowers. bell-shaped flowers here. I don't know. Maybe I'm overdoing it too much. I really wanted these round and wispy, not so dark. I like it in paintings when I see a dark line and a light line and, and I kind of can see some of the artist's thought process. I personally think for me it's really fun when I could see that stuff. Um, so that's why I wanted to put it in here. I also want to have a little thing coming down here. And like a vine kind of thing. I'm just really excited that it's almost spring. I think Sunday is the spring ahead here in Michigan. Um, and Pretty exciting. Now, I'm gonna actually do. In order to put this bunny into the landscape, you need to put a, just a few little flowers in front of him or pieces of grass. He's gotta be sunken in there, kind of. This is all very rough, I know. I'm having a lot of fun. Oh! So that happened. That happens sometimes. So I'm gonna put a little flower there. Or if you change your mind and you don't like it, erase the flower. But it's so much fun to play with oil paint. For fun, I want to try some playing with a little bit of color using the economy of brush stroke, meaning very few brush strokes. And I don't want a lot of color in what I'm about to do. So let's see. Let's see if I can get the effect that I want. Just a couple.
See, I'm playing with how exactly I want this hat to look. You know, I don't, I don't quite know yet. So I'm playing with ideas. It's totally okay to do that. When you're having fun, it's totally okay to do that. Don't know what you want, just have fun. Okay, so I'm gonna do something pretty brave. I'm going to mix a very light color using white and Naples and a little yellow and a little cad red light and make a really light color. And I'm going to so where I want the subject where I want the viewer looking I'm gonna control that a little bit ah kitty just jumped on my shoulder <laughs> So this happens quite often, where she just jumps on my shoulder. I wanna say hi. This is Mona Lisa, my kitty. She's got blue eyes, prettiest blue eyes in the whole world. Okay, Mona, get down. Whew, jumped up from the floor, that was something. Okay, we still filming kick ass. All right, here we go. So, back on track, so. This is what I'm gonna do. I really don't know what the heck I'm doing. And that's what might make this really fun for you guys to watch. <laughs> I'm just playing and I'm sharing it with you. So I'm kind of mapping in a face with the economy of brush stroke with no reference, which, what the, what the heck am I thinking here? This is super hard to do. <laughs> but whatever, we're gonna try it. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of burnt umber and cad red light, make it a little darker here. And you know, I'm doing this for fun, and if you're watching, you're getting to see my thought process and my steps. I'm not claiming to be an aficionado on, or that I'm the best portrait painter or plein air painter or any of that. I'm just having fun, so. I think that's the most important thing about art is that you have fun, experiment, try new things, and Economy. I don't want to do too much, too much, too much. You know, I'm trying to just keep it, keep it simple, if possible. So you know what it is, but you might not know exactly who it is. <laughs> just being soft and gentle can change not just a painting but how we feel about it you know so I mean, here's a very dark subject for most people witches healers scary right just because you, that's what they grew up learning 
Or let's put a real soft, gentle spin. What if she's a sister or a mother or a neighbor, a gardener, an, an animal rehabber who just rescued this little bunny? Or maybe she just made friends with him in the woods. You get to create your own story when you look at paintings. I already think she's cool. I'm like thinking I don't even want to overwork her at all. I like the economy and the looseness and the fun and the softness. I think it's so important to play and do things different than everybody else when it comes to art. Do what you love. I don't want to get rid of all my super duper cool things I got here. I got some things I think are super fun. There's some great elements here, I think. No, it's funny, I read somewhere that this whole idea of the witches wearing a pointy hat, it's a fun story. Um, the women that lived outside of the towns, the healers, that they were usually pretty poor. And when the pointed hat went out of fashion with the high class society and they were thrown away, a lot of the gals living outside of the villages who didn't have much found them and, and they used them and they wore them. And of course you know, or you may not know, that if you were old, you were a witch. If you had a beauty mark, you were a witch. If you were pretty, you were a witch. If you were smart, you were a witch. If you knew something other people didn't, you were a witch. If you could heal somebody, you were a witch. So I mean, it, quite, quite ridiculous. Anyway, I really like the loose, soft feeling that this is having right now, a lot. Just really kind of magically fun. I had no idea this was what I was going to paint today. It's just kind of evolving as it goes. It's a lot of fun. So I'm not talking a lot in this video because the truth is I don't really know what I'm doing. I just wanted to film having fun and doing free painting, abstract free painting, just to show you that anybody can do it. It's a lot of fun and all that good stuff. So um, that's what we're doing here.
Oh, kitty cat's trying to jump on my shoulder again. on my shoulder. I'm trying to paint. And I'm using no reference, so this may be completely, look, not authentic at all, but I'm having fun. I got paint on my fingers and <laughs> Okay, so let's look. This eye. We're gonna use a little bit of violet gray, burnt umber. I'm gonna grab my mall stick and try to get a little bit into this eye very little not very little here i just feel like i feel like it needs more i just feel like painting more than talking some of that funky music that so many of you say you don't like. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Oh my goodness, this is brave of me. I'm going to put a video on YouTube doing, I don't know what I'll be doing, but we're going to, I'm going to share it with the world. Oh my God, this is crazy. I do not want it realistic. <laughs> Even crazier, right? Probably. So I'm doing what I did not want to do. I'm losing my economy and I'm getting muddy. I don't want muddy. I'm a plain air painter um, quite often, more than not, a la prima, meaning one setting, and I, one session, and I often will use the same brush for light, dark, big, small strokes, all of it, um, which freaks people out sometimes, but, so like, I apologize if it's freaking you out, but I like the broken colors. Um, 
broken meaning it's not all one color there's a lot of colors in here and the more colors the actually more I like it um, so yeah I, I just realized as the painting evolved that the economy of brush stroke isn't gonna work on this one because um, it's just not gonna so that's fine And I don't want her eyes defined. I just want her soft and suggested. So I'm gonna come back in with, put a little bit of this brow. And we're gonna do this a little darker. Darker, darker. This is all a little darker. This. this is the one thing I'm having trouble with for some reason is getting this eye right. And that's all I want. I just want a suggestion of it, but man, it's gotta be perfect. That's pretty good. I like that. Sometimes uh, the best advice is if you after you place a stroke look at it, if you like it, don't touch it. Because so often you can just put one more stroke over it and uh-oh, you effed it up. I'm not gonna say the word because it's a bad word. But you don't wanna eff it up, you know? You don't. I like this because it's so whimsical, I guess would be the word, soft and whimsical, kind of. Uh-oh, I can't even paint with my fingers anymore. They're getting full. You know, I don't like that much hair on her either. So it's very easy if you ever change your mind and you want to move the hair, just dip your towel in some of your turpentine or um, whatever you use. And you can just erase it. I just feel like I had a little too much there. A little bit too much hair, like I'm trying to hide her. I'm really not trying to hide anything, so. I don't want to give the impression that I might be trying to hide her. I'm not. Very soft and suggested. Just soft as can be. Soft and suggested. Just want a loose, very light. I like that. 
Are you guys kind of learning my madness yet? Am I putting you to sleep? Normally I'm way more instructive and funny and this is such a just a outside of my wheelhouse kind of thing I'm doing. I'm not used to. You know what? I like it. I like it a lot. I like how loose and free and fun it is. And I don't want to overwork her. She's so fun. So when you're painting with the economy of brush stroke, you want to remember always to put your stroke down and leave it and don't touch it. And we tend to want to muddle, 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 but we can't do that. You got to just kind of put it down, leave it. Now, if it's in the wrong place, like I intentionally just put that one there, then you need to correct it. And if you need to correct it, then that's fine to do too. So my whimsical idea here for her was really just to eh, have it about like that. You know, I don't want this overworked and I don't want it to look overworked. I don't want it to look, I just want it light and airy and soft and free and gentle. And that's it, that's all I want. I, and I pretty much think it's there. I mean, aside from, I think I'm good on her. I don't think I need to really mess with her anymore. Her face, it's, it's good. It's nice and loose and Now we're gonna work on the arm. I have no reference other than arms I've painted in the past. But we're gonna assume that the light's kind of bouncing in here, it looks like. I like this painting. It's free, it's loose, it's fun. This is how I like to paint. Now, of course, whenever I'm doing a commission or painting like that, then it has to be precise. It has to be perfect. And you know, any artist with good basic technical ability can duplicate a, a photograph pretty good. And there's a ton of excellent artists out there. I've met more than I could count, and um, They've all got, all the ones I'm talking about have really good, you know, ability to duplicate. So I've got my little make-believe witch who I made up. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't even believe I did that. I love her. She's fun. Now the only problem is, I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of it. Bunny and all that. So we're gonna just cut this off over here, uh, kind of like this. got her little, you know, whatever she's got going on here. See, there's her head, here's her back probably, right? But I don't want that to be my focal point. I don't want everybody looking at, oh, where did her hat go? What's her shirt look like? What kind of dress does she have? And none of that's even relevant to me. It doesn't even matter. So we're just gonna... Gonna I don't know what I'm doing. This is kind of crazy.
I don't know, a hat might be on your shoulder. Like I said, I don't really care about what happens back here. This is not where I want the eye, and I'm probably going to take and put a bunch of greenery plants in here. Actually, I'm going to for sure. Yes, I am making this up. <laughs> I'm not looking at anything. I'm just having fun. I am continuing to have fun. I'm using blue. A little bit of blue here and there. Just a very little bit. Mixed with white, mixed with lavender. Just a little here and there. Just to add a little bit of life. And just for fun, just here and there. Remember, I'm not trying to paint a Rembrandt. I'm not trying to get into the Oil Painters of America contest with this. I'm just, I'm just being about as organic of an artist as you can be. Paint what you feel. Paint what you feel like painting. This is crazy. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty crazy, actually. Now the hands, uh, one finger goes like that, and that's cool. And it kind of gets lost in here a little, in her fur. And then this finger. I don't even know what color should we do the bunny guys. Oh, I don't know. So, let's dip the brush in a little bit of are just getting lost in the bunny fur. I mean, imagine if you found this lovely wild bunny and there he is and he's happy and he's beautiful and you're all excited you found him and he's wild and he let you touch him. I mean, it would be so exciting. I would want to get my fingers in the fur so much, you know, I just... I just think this is really fun and cool. So, it's, it's freeing when you paint for you. Something completely out of the realm of all the colleges and everything else with all the rules and directions and value and composition and you gotta do this and you gotta do that. And this third of the painting needs to have that and you need to do this and you know, every now and then, throw all that, all those rules away and just have fun, enjoy your life. This expression of life that we're all going through, record things that make your heart excited. You just start painting and whatever pictures start to emerge, go with it. I mean, I don't always paint like this, certainly not, but why not once in a while? This is really fun. Add a little color here and there. I mean, this little bunny. Soft edges, hard edges, whatever you want. I mean, it's your painting. I love him. I think he's just fantastic. It's just a lovely little bunny. I'm gonna even put a little crease in her hat there just because I don't know why but I had the urge to do it. Now if you're a brand new painter this might be really scary and I get it. I mean I've been painting a long long time. Um, I've been doing plein air painting which means outdoors for 15 years and I started that after I had already been painting for several years and being an only child Crayons were my babysitters for 
pretty much I I always draw and paint and create things that's just ever all my life I remember when kindergarten would uh, have a half a day or something I'd go to work with my mom and I would draw portraits of all her colleagues all the secretaries in her office and they were so kind I'm sure those paintings were terrible those drawings were terrible but they were very kind to me and I wish I could see one of those today that would be pretty cool but anyway um, you know they were They were very stick figure-y, right? For lack of a better word. You know, it's five. <laughs> Unless you're born a savant with unbelievable abilities, which I wasn't. I was just a normal kid. Nothing special about me. Okay. Basically, when I'm saying okay, it's I'm resetting myself here to... Focus on my next step. I don't want to overpaint this, and I don't want it to be photographic at all. As a matter of fact, I want to see my brush strokes, and I want to see the process I went through. I like it that way. Anybody can paint photographically. Not anybody can paint the way that you do, except you. But you never thought about that one, huh? Pretty cool. So I'm just putting my little bunny in. I don't even know what color he is. What color? I guess a wild cottontail's kind of got like brown and stuff. I mean, I'm an animal rehabber. I should know this. But it doesn't even have to look like an authentic rabbit. It can look like anything you want it to look like. I hear the sandhill cranes out there. It's March 5th today in Michigan, which means, guess what? <laughs> Well, the critters are coming back. I saw a robin. Yes. That's exciting. That's super exciting. Skunks are back out. Out on the road. They're looking for mates right now. If you see raccoons out and about, um, they're looking for food for their babies, probably. Look at this little bunny. Oh, my God got him in love. I'm having a great time. This is not going in any show. This is not going on any magazine or book. This isn't going... This is just my little... <laughs> my little bunny is so damn cute. I love him. And I got some hard lines and some soft lines and I love that too. Dark and some light, and I love that too. Somebody say, well, what is that? Is haunches? Is that this? Is that? I don't know what it is. Just I like it, and I'm putting it in. I'm being crazy today. I'm even dressed crazy. My hair and everything else is just kind of crazy today. You have to have days that are just all your own, where you get to be who you want to be and do what you want to do. My little bunny. <laughs> so cute. I gotta figure out how to put this into like the time lapse or whatever where it goes really fast. Now, what happened? that's okay this year kind of goes like this 
and then this back ear. Oops. See the beautiful thing too with oil paint, if you screw it up, who cares? We're gonna make the back ear a little bigger, I think. I don't know. I don't know, I don't think I like it like that. Do you? Do you like it like that? I don't like it like that. I don't know what I was just doing there either. Now I'm just making a mess. So I'm gonna wipe it off. Sometimes wiping things looks good too. <laughs> it's crazy how much. Maybe what I need to do is make the back ear the light one and the one up in the front the dark one. What do you guys think? Like, You know what? I'm gonna leave it like that. I want it impressionistic. I might need some more white. I had no idea I'd be using so much white. This is crazy. Little bunny foo foo. Hmm. <laughs>
Moving right along and this is evolving into quite the painting. Um, I'm going to ponder this now for a couple days. Can you guys see it okay? And um, probably change some colors and some values, but I'm gonna call this the language of nature. I love it, I think she's beautiful. So, thank you for watching. If you like my channel, please hit like and subscribe, it's free. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.